Memorial Day here, but I just fired up my green tea leaf candles, the DW Home one, and I'm just totally loving that candle. It's a nice one. And so I've got that slow burning. I'm back on my CeraVe um, sunscreen, and I'm just loving it. It's going on so nicely. Um, I, I liked the Australian Gold Botanical one a lot. I thought it was really nice. I think I talk about it a little bit in my sunscreen favorites video, which I've filmed, and it's either up or will go up uh, for you guys. Uh, so you either have watched it or will watch it in the future, but it exists. Um, but long story story short, I um, got a little bit of irritation from it after wearing it for two days, and I think that's just totally individual dependent. Otherwise, I think it's a fantastic sunscreen, and the fact that it's um, zinc titanium dioxide exclusively, it's got a great tint, it really does go on pretty well, and um, you know, everything you guys have said about it is absolutely true. It is great, um, but there is some ingredient in that. I suspect potentially one of the fruit extracts, which just did not agree with me and I got a really bad um ear well it's called an irritant dermatitis just a lot of flaking and peeling and redness from from it I still want to try the body one though but I'm a little nervous if it has the same the same thing in it if I'll have the same problem but anyways so um I am just whipping up um here we're going in the dark a little bit here so this morning I've just kind of been um I'm gonna do a little baking and I've been dying to try this recipe that I pinned like in the fall and uh now that it's summertime and the ingredients are in season I'll just show you the recipe it's a um it's for a strawberry shortcake um it's like a strawberry it's like a healthy strawberry shortcake recipe yeah, so it comes from this girl's um, blog, Veggie, Veg Annie. How cute is her little moniker here? Here she is. Um, and it's these uh, strawberry shortcake bars, and they look delicious. They utilize uh, yellow squash, which is in season now, and strawberries, which are also in season now. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how they come out, but I'll be sure and link that recipe down, down below. But, but my Ninja Bullet is really uh, doing a lot of... Uh, force here. Have you guys ever made oat flour? It's so brainlessly easy. Did you see me do it this morning? This is some of it that I made. The recipe calls for it. You just take plain rolled oats um, and just judge in the Ninja and you have like this flour that's, you know, if you're using gluten-free rolled oats and you have a gluten problem, then you've got a gluten-free flour. I'm going to put that together and get it in the oven and I'll show you what the finished product looks like when it comes out. Well guys, they came out of the oven and I follow the recipe exactly as it is written on the instructions except I put mine in my jumbo muffin tins which I'm thinking was a good idea because they, they came out looking pretty good um, but they didn't set up exactly like uh, they were sort of depicted in the um, recipe they're a little flat but they actually look kind of good so I've just got two here that I um, topped with a little uh, coconut um, butter um, and some fresh strawberries, so I'm gonna have that and my coffee. Um, so yeah, I taste a little bit of it, and it tastes, it tastes pretty good. I don't know that this is a complete win or necessarily something that I would, uh, remake again, uh, but I'll link the recipe down below so you guys have access to that blog if you're interested in it. Do you guys have any, um, favorite cooking blogs that you check out. Um, I find a lot of great recipes on Pinterest and then it takes me to a, to a blog and I find that that blogger kind of has recipes that I like. I, my favorite one is Minimalist Baker. Have you guys ever made any of her recipes? Um, I just love her. But yeah, she's she's definitely one of my favorites. Back to my last Vitacost haul. I really, um, this puffed corn cereal, remember that I got? Um, clearly I hate it, right? Cause I'm like basically through with it. There's just a serving left in here. This stuff I'm really liking. Um, I've just been eating it as a snack, um, as popcorn basically. It's really good that way. And um, so the only ingredient is whole grain yellow corn. So if you're not averse to consuming corn, um, I like this. But anyways, I'm going to have my uh, brunch here and uh, get to work on some stuff and I'll check in with you guys. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm just doing a little uh, walking. Um, I kind of want to get a hood, uh, another hoodie, because um, I like uh, wearing them at night while I do my editing. And I love this army one that I have. Um, so what with it being Memorial Day, I was wondering if there's not like some sales or something. Um, because I love my Victoria's Secret one, but I hate the um, 
the back of it is just like a little bit too much and it's like very reflective. I kind of just want something similar, but just like black or gray. All right, is it just me or is, is it just me or is White House Black Market like seriously just deviating all over the place from their moniker? I mean, I'm not like seeing any black here. <laughs> See, this is what I want, but I don't want it to say pink and I don't want it to have this on the back. Like, could they just make this without like all of this stuff on it? I would be so happy because this is like so soft. I actually kind of like this Texas A&M hoodie, but I did not go to school here. So I guess that would make me a complete fraud. Mom, I didn't look out in there. Big surprise. Like, is it just me? I feel like... I feel like Victoria's Secret Pink, like they really excel in the softness and quality of their um, loungewear. Like it's really comfortable. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like wearing it, but it's hideous. Like they need a post collegiate line for like 30 plus crowd. <laughs> I'm gonna try the Gap, we'll see. They usually pull through in neutral colored clothing at an affordable price. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> admittedly the last thing I need in life is more like loungewear, but look how cute these uh, pajama pants are they have at the Gap. <laughs> Very beachy. This fabric feels nice, but it's got nothing on Carol. It's got nothing on uh, Carol. Um, but how cute is that? Aloha and good night. <laughs> Nap. <laughs> Like the fabrics feel nice, but somehow I feel like if you sweat in your sleep that these would smell foul on wakening, you know what I mean? They seem like they would be, uh, make you sweat in your sleep. But these are really cute. And the little palm trees on. I like those. So I'm over here in Half Price Books. Um, it's like a um, secondhand bookstore, I think. It's very good. It's one of my favorite places to come. But I found this book, Steal Her Style. I love her. Is it a tailor so beautiful? Right. She's rumored to have a double row of eyelashes. Grace Kelly. Is it just me? Or is this woman not wearing any makeup? I feel like she's not. <laughs> oh, I like Twiggy. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> I read this when I was young. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed all of his books back then. Beach music's a good one. Second career for me second career option for me, if it exists, would just be hiding in here and reading all the books. <laughs> yeah, why is that not a job? <laughs> you know, just reading books. <laughs> could totally do that. I feel like I'm cheating with Audible, you know? Like, it's kind of lazy. But... If I don't do Audible, then I just don't read anymore, which is just unacceptable. That's sad. Okay, watching Anne with an E on Netflix has me wanting to reread Anne of Green Gables. I loved this book as a child. And apparently you can go to um, Nova Scotia and like, I mean, I'm sure you guys in Canada watching me are like, oh my God, that is the touristiest thing you could possibly do, but I'm totally on board. Apparently you can go to like outside of Nova Scotia and like tour the end of Green Gables site. I'm totally doing that one day. <laughs> go to Prince Edward Island. Is it beautiful there, Canadians? Tell me. It looks beautiful in the pictures. I've never been. I've never been to Canada before. That's a good place in Canada to go visit. I feel like there's so many you want to go to. Okay, even if you claim, even if you proclaim yourself as a non-cat person, come on, come on, come on. You know this is adorable. You know this is adorable. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my god. This book.
look, you guys. Oh, look at those ears. <laughs> oh, oh, such a beautiful face. This looks like fun. The mini farming Bible in maximizing your farm. Self-sufficiency in a quarter acre. Gotta say, that would probably limit my uh, success. It's hand having to handle these little guys. But I'd love to have my own strawberries. Let's check out this book. Now apparently, FYI guys, learning fact, nut trees are easier to uh, prune and care for than fruit trees. Good to know. Next time I decide to uh, kick up my uh, orchard. All right, I totally think I should buy this with the justification that it's gonna amp up my Spanish speaking skills for, you know, patient care and what have you. <laughs> La Sirenita is uh, the little mermaid in Spanish. All right, moms and dads out there, from crib to kindergarten, everything you know on uh, keeping your child safe for a mere dollar here. Like Dorothy Drago. She sounds like a character from Harry Potter. Dorothy Drago? Malfoy? I don't know. Sounds familiar. How to perform the Heimlich maneuver. Teeth. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm in this beehive shop. Look how cute these face masks are. <laughs> Fused with moisturizing hyaluronic acid. Oh, I kinda wanna do this tonight. It's Korean skincare. How sweet. They have a penguin. And they have a penguin. And a collagen tiger. And a uh, white pearl zebra. I got the face mask. Look how cute the bag is. Mr. Well, hey guys, I'm back from my little uh, jaunt around the block to get a little air and uh, see the sights. And I'm just spiralizing up some of my uh, zucchini and squash uh, and divvying it up into containers so that that is done. It's so easy to spiralize up two, uh, two zucchinis. This is like, I don't know, 75 cents right here, but if you buy these, Pre um, spiralized zucchinis in the grocery store, they're like so expensive. So, but, anyways, I'm gonna head to the gym and I'll check in with you guys later. Well, hey guys, isn't he cute as stink? This is the um, Cream Shop Drink Up Skin Animated Animal Face Mask infused with mo uh, moisturizing hyaluronic acid. This has snail secretion in it guys and aloe and uh, hyaluronic acid it does have a very uh strong uh kind of burny sensation though around the eyes i will caution you that i think it's po possibly uh what you all would perceive as the alcohol denaturant uh maybe quite high in this and it's got fragrance which i'm detecting as a uh light um kind of baby powder smell um and it also but it also has um glycerizate which is uh fancy schmancy for licorice um glycerizic acid um and that if you'll recall back to my uh dark spots melasma uh kind of q a has been shown in some very small limited studies to impart a brightening effect although once you stop using it it goes away um but how cute is he i mean i'm, I'm happy to look like a penguin so um, stoked about him. I also got this Cheer Up Skin one. Um, so stay tuned for that down the road. Um, that supposedly, uh, is gonna brighten me with a pearl whitening acid. So, it's anybody's, uh, dupe. But this is the cream shop. I guess this is a Korean mask. Um, and it says it's not tested on animals. Um, I really did spend quite a bit of time last night, um, perusing the interwebs for information on cruelty-free, uh, cruelty-free skincare. I know you all want me to try out some cruelty-free things, and I, I got a little into, into, I tried to figure out what, if any, uh, regulations, uh, go into demonstrating cruelty-free, and uh, from what I could gather on the internet, for however reliable that is, um, it's kind of vague to me, and so I went to the Leaping Bunny website, and this is an organization based in Canada, um, that claims that if the product has been Leaping Bunny approved, you can rest assured that it has not been, the company is, uh, you know, cruelty free in fact. Whereas, if something claims to simply say not tested on animals, then that supposedly means that the product itself 
might not have been tested on animals, but other products the company makes may be tested on animals. Furthermore, another thing that they suggested is that some companies will contract with a third party to do the animal testing, and then they can call themselves uh, cruelty-free because they themselves don't test on animals, they just pay somebody else to do it. I just don't know how true that is. And, you know, I feel like the bunny and I should sit down in a bar, like this is a bad joke, right? A dermatologist and a bunny rabbit go into a bar and, and yeah, it, it's leading into that. But that's kind of how I feel. I feel like the bunny and I can relate. You know, dermatologist, like what does that even mean? Half the garbage that says that is nothing I, w I would ever recommend. And I feel like there's a bunny rabbit sitting somewhere going, well, they were never putting this on me in the first place. What, what the heck? Um, and now they're exploiting me to sell their useless product. Um, and so I really spent a lot of time looking into a lot of the cruelty-free brands. And you guys have had, you know, some of you have sung the praises of various brands and various products, and that is fantastic. The problem that continues to arise, however, is that when I find cruelty-free products, many of them have several ingredients that are known to be irritating and allergenic. Uh, many of them have a, a lot of different like botanic extracts and fruit extracts, like that face wash I tried, which I, you know, liked, but can't in good confidence recommend to anybody because it's got mint in it, you know, who puts menthol in a face wash? It's like the number one trigger of rosacea. I, I, I don't even need to try that to know I can't go recommending that to a general audience because anybody watching with rosacea may go and wash their face with that and then get very upset with me for recommending something so stupid. Uh, the sunscreen that I pointed out in Kroger, Alba Botanica, they seemed somewhat re reasonable and they have an acne, a 2% salicylic acne face wash. Um, here my little ducky bill is flapping. A 2% acne uh, salicylic acid face wash that seems like a potential cruelty-free version of my Neutrogena um, salicylic acid face wash. So I may be giving that a whirl in the future. Anyways, this um, cruelty-free mask is starting to sting a little bit. I don't know how good it is. Um, but um, I'm going to take it off and uh, go about my normal nighttime routine and put my... Uh, Neutrogena Hydra Boost on, but isn't he cute? <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!